colonization never ended in the white supremacist system. And as we see today, the colonization is in the mind. Now, those who have been enslaved and those who have been colonized, we're still dealing with the remnants of that through the colonization of the mind. Pick up my book, Seven Steps to Decolonize the Mind, and we will help deprogram you from the colonization that was put upon you by generations and generations of white supremacy. You can pick it up today on Amazon.com. Sali Bonani Unjani Makati Hengi. Welcome back to another broadcast of the African Diaspora News Channel with me, your host, Mari Tawana, aka Walker Hunters, Sitole Imali. And if you're just joining us for the first time, you must definitely welcome. Please do like, share, subscribe, and of course hit that notification bell for more content. Now, today we are talking about a Chinese contractor that has dismissed claims that they will put spying devices in the new parliament building here in Zimbabwe, which was built by the Chinese to eavesdrop on sensitive conversations from the Zimbabwean government. Now, work has now been completed on the new parliament building, which is located in Mount, ha Mount Hampton, a small town uh, in Zimbabwe. And addressing the media Wednesday, a few weeks ago, Shanghai Construction Group project manager Sai Libo dismissed the claims that Zimbabwe and China are all weather friends. And friends, you do not do such kind of things to your friends, as he said. And he continued to say that as the contractors, we are working here, we are friends, we have no interest to do that. Now, he also continued to say that in the recent years, China helped Africa in all ways. Uh, we build a lot of infrastructure like hospitals, schools, roads, and other things to help African countries. There have been fears and speculation among Zimbabweans as to why the Chinese government fully funded or free or gave away for free a hundred US million, a hundred million US dollars uh, for the parliament building, which can accommodate 1,000 people for free. Now, other, you know, uh, skeptics or rather critics have uh, claimed that China was granted permission by the government to freely exploit minerals and other resources uh, from Zimbabwe in return. Um, for building the Chinese, uh, from building the parliament building. Um, now, others have been claiming that the Chinese will bug the building to listen to sensitive information that has been passed around uh, around uh, members of parliament. Now, the new parliament building is among a number of multi-million dollar projects being funded by China, including upgrade work on the Robert Mugabe International uh, Airport in the capital city, Harare. Now, China has also gained a stronghold in Zimbabwe over the past two decades decades after Harare fell out with the West over its land reform program, uh, as well as human rights abuses and concerns about electoral fraud. Now, President Emerson Mnangagwa's new disp dispensation has been a so-called engagement and re-engagement policy with the West, but progress has been undermined by, among other issues, repeated crackdowns against the oppositions. Now, of course, as our viewers, you are more than welcome. Uh, to uh, view your own opinions and comments about this situation. Um, please let us know what you think in the comment section. And please do follow us at African Diaspora News Channel. That is African Diaspora News Channel on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We are at, at AFR Diaspora News Channel. From me and the team, it's bye for now. I'll see you in another broadcast. Cheers. Is it hard to access affordable, healthy food? Then listen carefully. Daryl Addison, an African-American inventor, has patented a process for growing food on demand. He called it Torpedo Pot. Torpedo Pot is a fully automated flower pot that gives you control over your plant's environment. All you do is add soil, seeds, and plants to the flower pot and watch it grow. Yes, Torpedo Pot grows the rest. Visit www.torpedopot.com.